That kid was getting fucked up. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Motivated Devil, and I'm high, popular man. I'm finally doing what you guys asked me to. Devil, talk about the Marine Corps. Talk about the Marines. Talk about your time in the Marines. I get comments, messages all the time, tweets. By the way, follow me on Twitter if you don't. I get tweets all the time. Hey, you know, you should talk about the Marines. You should do this. Because it's something unique that I have that not a lot of commentators out there have. Not every commentator out there is a Marine. I know, I think I know of one or two. And, uh, you know, they're really cool guys. But if you're new around here, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're a Marine, you want to say something, you know, just shout out, hey, Super Fidelis, or hoorah, or rah, or some crazy shit like that. Or if you're a pulley, or if you're trying to get in the Marines, but you have some questions, just comment down below. But I'm going to get right on with episode one of Marine Corps Stories. So this one's going to be Christmas in boot camp. Yeah, I actually spent my 2009 Christmas in boot camp. I went to boot camp December 14th of 2009. And as you guys know, obviously, boot camp or Christmas is March 25th. So I had only been in there for like 11 days. So it wasn't the fact that it sucked so bad. Like, uh, if it would have been, if I had been there for like two months, it wouldn't have been that bad because I would have known what to expect. I would have been there. I'm like, hey, I've been here a month. I got the routine going down. But I'd only been there for like 14 or like 11 days, and it it was horrible. My the girl I was dating at the time, she told me that we were gonna get one Coke and a candy bar on Christmas. And my dumbass really believes some stupid shit like that. Like, really? The Marine Corps is going to give you a candy bar? Look at that. Oh, baby. The Marine Corps is going to give you a candy bar and a Coke for Christmas? Um, yeah, I didn't have a Coke or a candy for three months straight. And uh, that's definitely not what happened on Christmas morning. So, 4.30 in the morning, lights, lights, lights. Guess what? I'm thinking, you know, it's really not going to be this bad. It's Christmas. You know, they can't be that hard on us. Well, it's just one drill instructor, and he's, of course, pissed as fuck because he's there. Because, you know, while the other drill instructors are at home spending time with their family and their kids, it's 4.30 in the morning, and he's having to wake us up. And he's the only drill instructor there, and he has a wife and kid of his own. And I knew that at the time. So I knew it wouldn't be that good because it was the, you know, it was the meanest drill instructor we had. He was the one that was staying with us that night. And... He woke us up at 4.30, lights, 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 you know, I'm thinking, okay, it's going to be cool, it's, it's not going to be that bad, and then he just puts us all in line, and he's like, Merry fucking Christmas, recruits, and we all screamed, it was kind of badass, we were like, Merry Christmas, sir, and he just flipped out, he was like, bull fucking shit, all you go outside and get your deck tiles right now, and you don't know what deck tile is, if you're not in the Marines, I'm about to tell you this. It's just like a regular bath towel that you would, you know, dry your nuts off or, you know, your boobicles, whatever you have in the shower. Anyways, you lay it on the ground, concrete floor in the squad base. Squad base about about 100 feet long. I'm probably not right about that, but it's, pr it's really damn long. Anyways, your hands are on the towel. Your ass is in the air. The towel's on the ground. Your feet are on the ground. And you're bulldozing that towel across the floor with hot water and bleach poured on the floor. And, you know, what it's supposed to be doing is cleaning the floor. But all it really is is a pain in the ass, and it's a way to fuck you up. Because it sucks. We did over a hundred laps before I actually went, got to go to, like, breakfast chow. And, you know, I was I was done. Like, I, I was to the point where, like, if I dropped dead right now, I wouldn't even care. Like, oh, my God, did I even make the right decision? Holy shit, am I built for this? This is Christmas. Like, can you imagine what, like, any other day is going to be? And it was just, it was just horrible. We pushed towels, and I'm going to explain this again because I know that's probably a little confusing. You bend over, you push the towel across the floor, that's one lap, okay? You come back, that's two laps. We did over a hundred laps. And, you know, being bent over for two hours straight, pushing a towel, it's something that doesn't slide good across concrete floor. Look at that AGR just got knocked out, baby. But I, it's horrible. It's it's something that the Marines, if you're a Marine, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I, mean, I don't know. I was at Paris Island. I don't know what you guys did in San Diego. You guys probably just combed your hair and, uh, you know, got cookies and stuff for Christmas. 
Nah, I'm just fucking with you guys. You Hollywood Marines are cool as shit. But anyways, uh, that's about it for episode one, guys. Uh, yeah, I spent Christmas in uh, boot camp, and then I spent New Year's Eve in boot camp, and I also sit, spent Valentine's Day in boot camp. But it didn't matter because my girlfriend then was a fucking slut. Anyways, guys, it's your boy Motivated Devil. Smack the shit out of that like button if you're enjoying this, so I need to know. I need to know you're liking it. It's your boy Motivated Devil. Super Fidelis, out. Out.